Today we are going to discuss the role of nervous system in controlling the cardiac output. As we have started our uh, new chapter that is cardiac output, venous return and their regulation and we have discussed different factors which basically affect the cardiac output, venous return and their relationship with each other. Now one of the most important factor that will influence the cardiac output is the nervous system. And today we are going to discuss the importance of nervous system in maintaining the arterial pressure when the venous return and cardiac output increase. Now basically we are discussing the effect of or the role of nervous system in controlling the cardiac output but especially when the role of nervous system is important in maintaining the arterial pressure. When the cardiac output is increasing, then what's the role of the nervous system in maintaining the arterial pressure? Now, to prove our point and, uh, to, and to prove that the role of nervous system is important, we will consider an experiment in which we, uh, we plot the cardiac output, we plot the cardiac output and arterial pressure. Now what we do that uh, we will take an animal, an experimental animal and we will plot the cardiac output. We see that the normal cardiac output is being plotted here and then a drug known as dinitrophenol is given in a normal experimental animal. When the nitro dinitrophenol is given this this drug or this chemical this basically increases the metabolism of tissues and cause dilatation of the blood vessel it causes dilatation of the blood vessels now when dilatation of the blood vessels occurs in a normal experimental animal there will be a tremendous increase in the cardiac output this is basically the cardiac output Here is the cardiac output liters per minute and we see that from its uh, its normal level from its normal level of around 1 it has increased to around 5 liters per minute in this experimental animal or it shows an increase of around 3 to 4 times 3 to 4 times increase in the cardiac output because the dinitrophenol increases the venous return and we have discussed in the frank starling mechanism or the frank starling law that cardiac output is very much dependent upon the venous return but venous return is increasing the cardiac output and at the same time the nervous system must play its role here we see that the cardiac output has increased it, here we see that the cardiac output has increased but the most important thing was when the, the this medicine was administered or this drug was administered at this point here the arterial pressure remained the same there was no change in the arterial pressure throughout now we consider an experiment in which when this dinitrophenol is injected into the body of experimental animal it increases the metabolism of the tissues and it increases the venous return and it tries to increase the cardiac output but at the same time at the same time the nervous system is blocked the nervous system is blocked at this point see this is the brain this is the brain here we have the heart and from the heart the blood is going into the blood vessels and these blood vessels are supplied by the green color nerves so the nervous system is very much important in maintaining the arterial pressure in this experiment in this experiment we will basically block we will basically block the nervous system we will block the nervous system or the innervation of the blood vessels 
which is very much important in maintaining the arterial pressure while the cardiac output is increasing or while the venous return is increasing. So one drug is administered to increase the metabolism and to increase the venous return but another chemical will block the nervous in the innervation of the blood vessels or the innervation of the heart from the uh, nervous system. When it is blocked at this point the arterial pressure starts falling down. The arterial pressure starts falling down and now despite of giving this dinitrophenol despite of giving this di dinitrophenol the cardiac output could increase only slightly it could only increase slightly around 1.5 times normal instead of this 3 to 4 times of the normal so it proves it it proves that the nervous system the role of nervous system is very much important in maintaining the arterial pressure only then the cardiac output will increase if the nervous system has been blocked as in this case or as in this case the arterial pressure will not be maintained here the arterial pressure was maintained in the this with as is been as has been shown in the red color the arterial pressure has been maintained so when the arterial pressure was maintained there was a big jump in the cardiac output of around three to four times of the normal cardiac output but when the venous return was increased with dinitrophenol but the nervous system was blocked the nervous system was blocked as has been shown here and there was no control of the arterial pressure and the arterial pressure fell from its normal level then with introduction of dinitrophenol there could be only slight increase in the cardiac output so we have two uh, we have two different experiments and they have been plotted with a red color and with the blue color the red color shows that the arterial pressure is normal it is not it is being maintained with the help of nervous system the arterial pressure is being maintained so the cardiac output will increase but in the second experiment when the arterial pressure is not being maintained because it has been blocked here then the cardiac output also is not that much increased despite of giving this uh, dinitrophenol which increases the metabolism and which increases the uh, venous return so this experiment basically proves the importance of nervous system in maintaining the arterial pressure when the venous return and cardiac output are increasing so only when the nervous system is intact and only when the nervous system can maintain the arterial pressure normal only then there will be a jump in the cardiac output if the nervous system is unable to maintain the arterial pressure or the arterial pressure falls down then despite of any uh, any medicine or chemical or drug which will increase the venous return the cardiac output will not be able to increase that much thanks a lot for watching the video